and Jamil are the first black women to host a late night show. Tell us about this. I, you know what, I think, and Chelsea was on it. We have to say she was amazing. The thing with Jamel and I, you ever, we're literally genuinely like the dearest, closest friends. I went to her house one day. This is really how the story came about. I went to her house one day with a bottle of wine. I was like, hey, let's just film us talking about a bunch of random things, but be honest about it. And the more we talked, the more we drank. The more we talked, the more we drank. And then you know people get very comfortable, mm-hmm. right? So, at the, and then we filmed this. We had a friend of ours film it. And I'm like, this would be a great show. And then next thing we know, and this is how you know it was supposed to be, we had one conversation with Vice and they were like, well, yeah, we want to do that. We like this idea. We wow. like what you all are doing. And it didn't, it didn't really take much, but it was just two friends wanting to work together. I don't just talk sports, won't stick to sports. I can talk about culture. I can talk about politics. I can talk about everything that's happening in the world today in an intelligent way. And I can also speak for a community that doesn't feel as if they're represented. That's right. And that was the whole point of our show. Like, you can't just put me in a box. I live, I live everywhere. You that's know what, what I mean? That's what I've been trying to tell everybody <laughs> forever. Okay. I've been trying to tell y'all now, I live in South Central, but I can do a lot of things. All the things. Well I used to jump six feet in high jump, <laughs> and I'm five, six. Yeah. Got four levels. I bet. That's how you, you do it. Did you want to go to the next level with it? Did you ever think about being an Olympian? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to be Flojo, and now hey. I'm about to do that in a movie. Okay. Okay. I know that's right. <laughs> I always Hello. wanted to be Fletcher. I got to ask you an important question. Okay. All right, now this is going to probably knock you off your square and the LA people going to be watching, so you got to answer right, okay? Okay, okay. Out of the two, which one is most important? Lakers or UCLA basketball team? Go. I grew up a Laker fan, so when I say my grandmother, who could not drive, she would take me on the bus. We would buy the cheapest seats and we'd be in a nosebleed, and she explained to me the love of basketball and why she loved it. And she wow. explained what she loved about the Lakers what at the time of the show. What did she love showed... about it? Did she date one at one point no, in time or something wished. like that back in the day? Man, she wished. My grandmother used to always try to flirt. Whenever we would get, when I started working at, you know, in this world of television and sports, she was like, can you introduce me to Magic? I was like, for what? <laughs> <laughs> He's married. She was like, oh, OK, OK, I didn't say so. I was like, now nah, I get my flirting. I know where I get my flirting from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But... so have you ever dated an athlete? A girl? Yes. 